The sentence for first degree murder is fixed by law. It is life without the possibility of parole. I understand the rationale of the Commonwealth's recommendation and Priscilla Matarazzo's request that consecutive sentences be imposed in that it recognizes symbolically that if consecutive that there is more than one victim. But I'm concerned that if consecutive sentences are imposed, people who are not familiar with Massachusetts law will have the erroneous impression that there is a possibility of release from prison on a sentence of first degree murder when there is not. As a matter of law, a sentence for first degree murder is an actual life sentence. Absent a pardon by the governor, there is no possibility of release from prison. A consecutive sentence would be purely symbolic. For that reason, I am imposing concurrent sentences for the murders of Rachel and Lillian at Whistle. That means that the defendant will serve, the actual sentence that the defendant will serve will be for both murders. In addition, I am going to impose a period of probation concurrent uh, on the charges of possession of ammunition and possession of a firearm with a condition that the defendant not profit in any way from the sale of his story, either by way of book or, uh, or otherwise, to any um, media outlet. Uh, that is the sentence that will be imposed.